How can publishing Rocket be used to help us with determining the profitability of niches and particular categories? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a hands-on approach and give you a tutorial on using Publisher Rocket the best way. Now, if you haven't been to this channel before, welcome. My name is Romney. And what we're going to be doing today is something which I get a lot of questions about, and that is the best way of using Publisher Rocket for niche research. Now, if you're watching this video between the 23rd and the 27th of November, 2023, there is a special offer and you can get Dave Chesson's Keyword and Categories uh, $49 course for free if you use my affiliate link below. So make sure you take advantage of that. So let's get into this tutorial right now. If you haven't used Publisher Rocket before, great opportunity to determine its power and whether it's worthwhile investment. If you have Publisher Rocket, then this is going to be a great way to explore further options that you may not know about currently. Let's get into it right now. So if you don't know about Publisher Rocket, then you can check out a lot of the different features of Publisher Rocket on the website. Remember, if you want to use my link, that will give you that free keywords and categories course provided by Dave Chesson. But you can do some research uh, on the platform as well. But what I want you to do is to go to the Amazon bestsellers and go in incognito mode. The other thing I'd recommend you do when you're doing some niche research is to download DS Amazon QuickView, and that is a Chrome extension, and that just gives you extra information about the book ranking and some other details as well. So the first thing that I'd be doing before I start using Publisher Rocket, which is the tool just down here, so I would launch Publisher Rocket, and it's got keyword search, competitor analyzer, category search, AMS keyword search, and there are some tutorials which are offered there. So we're just going to reduce that for the moment. Now, there might be a particular niche that you're interested in. I've tended to publish in children's books, so therefore that's what I'm going to be focusing on today, and let's see what we can find. One of the other things I'd suggest is just having a basic spreadsheet and it's just got niche, keyword, and maybe even the search results under the book category. Therefore, we can just document some of the results that we get, and you can even document results from Publisher Rocket that might also help. So let's go back into the incognito, and I'm going to go to children's books. Then I'm going to go to cars, trains, and things that go. And then I'm going to start to go a little bit deeper. So... What I tend to do is niche down quite a few levels, and that might mean we've gone to books, children's books, and we've gone down to cars, trains, and things that go. Now we're going to go to a little bit deeper. So let's go to buses. So this is one of the categories. Now we can sort of see what's happening here. Now there are going to be books here that are listed under the category of buses that have nothing to do with buses. They might be cars, just like this one right here. So we need to ensure that when we're looking for our results, that it's not being uh, construed by different sorts of uh, irrelevant books. Now, this one here, the diary of a Minecraft zombie isn't about buses. And you'll probably see the few of these aren't about buses. But what we can potentially do is start to have a look at what might be a series of books that might be actually tracking all right and i'm looking at the bsr ranking here 175 we're probably looking for something under 100 so maybe buses is not what we want let's go to cars and trucks let's hear how these are currently ranking at the moment what i'm looking for are just some things that stand out before i go to publisher rocket uh, so i go down here and keep having a look I can see a few different things that are coming up here. Trucks seem to be quite popular. So let's go to, because these are ranked at 2,000, 2,000, 3,000. These are very, very popular. Three, three, three. So these are very popular as we probably go towards Christmas because they might be gift books. And we want to find books that we can create that aren't these kinds of books that have got plastic handles and carry we can't do that that's a major publisher that would have the opportunity to do that so from this what i might do is go to publisher rocket we're going to go to keyword search and we might type truck books for toddlers 
We're going to keep it under books. The other options you've got Kindle and Audible. We're just going to go to books and go get them rocket. We wait for the results to come up and we see these results or these results have come up for us here. We want to look for ones that are relevant to us. So truck books for toddlers is definitely one. Toddler books about cars and trucks. Why not? Books about construction trucks for toddlers. Yes. 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 Mm, maybe. Not quite sure about that one. We'll tick them anyway. So what we're looking for is that low competitive score. And the lower to one, the better. Up to 100. That's very, very competitive. So we can see this here. Books about construction trucks for toddlers. So what I might do is highlight that. Copy it. I'm going to place it into my keyword. And I might just do a bit more investigation into this. So I'll go back to Rocket. And what I can do, along with seeing the average pages, which is important, we need to see the average price. So when we're publishing the book, we can see that. The monthly earnings, close to $1,000. If we got $1,000 a month for a book, I'd be happy with that. So don't always try and go for these really big monthly totals because maybe they are going to be very very competitive which it looks like they are so let's have a look into this a little bit further so we click this tab over here this will now take us to another page and this is our competitor analyzer you can go straight to the competitor analyzer or you can use the keyword search and then we can and we can move along you can see these books here what we're looking for is Maybe the uh, the age of the book, the price, and even the monthly sales. So we can see this book here, tabbed book, a uh, board book. We can't do board books on Amazon KDP or Ingram Spark, but we can do our paperbacks and even hardbacks potentially. So let's go down here a bit further. We're looking for one. So this one, that's counting books. That could be one we could have a look into. Current ranking is 26,000, which is very, very good. So what we can actually do, we can check out the book by going check it out. So why not? Let's go and check it out. Let's have a bit of a look and see what this book is all about. Seems a very, very plain, the front cover there. What about in the back? Looks very, very plain. It's got a lot of reviews. It was published three years ago. If we scroll down here, we can have a look. It's ranked at 26,000 and you can see that's from one of the reviews what's inside it how many tankers can you count very simple to make so we're looking at those and we're looking at verified purchases so we can scroll down we can see a lot of those I know Jamie B she actually did a review for me about three years ago <laughs> Um, and she's everywhere with the reviews. I'm not sure how she reviews so many books. So we scroll back up here and we can see the paperback is actually priced at $14. If we go back here, we can see if it says it listed $10.20. So that's interesting that that data is a little bit different from what is there. However, we want to check out this a bit further. Oops, wrong one, sorry. We want to go back to Publisher Rocket and we want to go see categories. So we can see the categories. Now what we need to do is investigate this even further. So this is a category which is selectable. So Amazon uh, allows you to place the book into directly into this category. They've made changes with the categories, but you can place it directly into this category, which is great. So what we're now going to do is go construction vehicles and we can see the different kinds uh, of books that are in that category and how they're tracking. We could even use KD Spy to do a little bit further investigation into this if we wanted to. So this will actually give us an idea of how well these books are going. So I tend to like, I like to use Publisher Rocket and KD Spy together. And between both of these different software platforms, I can really identify niches that are going to be profitable for me to, to get into. And this one right here, so children's construction vehicles, KD Spy is telling me that it's a really good, easy category to compete in. It's quite popular. 
and lots of potential. And if we look at the rankings here as well, we can see that it's an average rank of 22,863. So that would be a very good niche to get into if you could get a book into um, this area right here. So you can see these this particular niche and then go down even further, which means that you might look at different age groups that some of these books are actually suited to. And you might get some good keywords just by going through and writing down the names of these books and then listing those and finding out if there's a common pattern. And you can use the keywords in your title, subtitle, and your backend keywords as well. Let's go back to Publisher Rocket and let's go to Insights now. Find out. It's got a, it's going down a little bit in regards to the growth for that one. And you can see that it's to get ranked in the top or the number one position is 66 sales in a day nine sales to get in the top 10 of this category which is not too bad it's pretty good it's relatively flat in this in this area let's go back to related uh categories and this way we can start to see what else is there so books children's books science how it works heavy machinery again oh amazon allows you to place your book directly into this category uh, as a placement. So this is a new function and uh, ability for you to see whether you can select this category specifically and it's on a ghost category for Amazon. So let's go to Hemi Machinery. Actually, we might do an insight here. So we can see 11 sales. Let's go to Insights. And it's had some growth lately. 11 sales, relatively flat, but I might have a look at the different keywords that are related to it. So this is something else in the insights, which is really good because I can now have a look at the different categories in this niche that you might be able to create some more books on. So there might be excavators, bulldozers, cranes, dump trucks, forklifts, tractors, um, cement mixers, backhoes, all these, either, all these different um uh, kinds of machinery you can create books about. This is what kids are looking for. So if we did, let's just choose one. Uh, let's go cement mixes. So if we copy that, let's go to Amazon and let's go cement mixes, mixer book for toddlers. Let's have a look and see. There's 159 results here. And you can just see, see how popular they are. Probably not very popular, the cement mixer, although this one, it's uh, seven, there we go. Keep going down. This one's popular, 13,000. That's under Kindle. Oh, it's a board book, so we probably got to be careful of that one. That one's always very popular. It's good to check out these just to make sure because you just don't know what might be resonating with young kids. Let's have a look at excavators. That might be one that we want to look at. So let's go back and let's go up here. Let's try, let's change this around. Okay, so these ones might be a bit more popular. The, the day I had a bulldozer, 103,000. 10 little excavators. So let's have a look at this one and see whether this is something that you create. And there's a board book, but you could still create a paperback book, even an 8.5 by 8.5 paperback book. And if we scroll down here, we can see it's ranked at 69,000. And you can see some of the reviews. There's no photos of this one. There's no look inside of this one at the moment that I can see. Again, do some investigation. And when the way we can use Publish your rocket is by getting these keywords and you can scroll down and you can see more of them that kids might be actually looking for. So that's another great insight. Let's have a look at one more category and whether it's something that we could do. So let's go to maybe farming and agriculture. I've never looked at this one before. Let's have a look at the insights. Wow, okay, it's good growth. Significant growing at a monthly rate of 6%. Low competition, uh, only three sales to number 10, 11 sales to number one. So there, there's, a, there's a good one to go to. So we can have a look at 
Um, let's have a look. You can, you can place it directly into that category. Keywords. This will bring via the keywords. So you can use these in backend keywords or you can try and include them in your subtitle perhaps or you can create a book around that specifically. And if we wanted to, we can have a look at farming and agriculture. So if we go to this one, we go new search, we go farming and culture, go get them rocket. Let's just have a look and see if there's any books here. Let's go farming and agriculture, and we might do that one as well. Let's just wait and see what comes up. Okay, so this one might be a bit more. Let's have a look at this one. So you look at what tractor wars, farming. So just scroll through and have a look. Even if you wanted to do, let's go. Actually, we're going to do a keyword search. Do another one here. If we do tractor books for kids, go get them rocket. Let's have a look again. We can do some insights here quickly. Tractor Mac Kids Books. You can see the estimated number of searches here. That's a big number there. Tractor Books for Kids 2 to 4. Let's have a look, quick look at this one here. Again, it's just a great tool. It's powerful to be able to do this niche, niche research, find out what's popular, look at the different books, go in there, research and find out the categories, look at the keywords. There's a lot of insights into here you just would never be able to get if you were just doing your own research. So we can have a look at here and we can see this one here. Let's just go tractor coloring book, 36,000. Let's have a look at, let's just go and check it out. Let's just see what this book's about. It looks quite simple, very, very simple book. But if you get it in the right category and using the right keywords, the right age group, and you scroll down, ranked at 34,000. You can see what's in here. Customers have already provided illustrations for you. So very, very simple books. Tractor coloring book, waste of money. So if you look at the reviews, you can see what's gone wrong and then you can actually change things up to make it even better. So you've got some that are giving a good review, some that are not so good reviews. Most of the time it's a good review, but you could make it better. What we're looking for here are books about tractors and obviously there's a market there for them and Publisher Rocket has provided us with that insight and then you can get the categories that will help you to get in that area of, um, of that niche area. So I'm hoping those insights have helped you with Publisher Rocket and what further you can do uh, for all this. Remember, you can export all the competition data, you can unleash the categories, and that'll show you all those categories there and the insights and keywords. And it will also tell you how many sales to get to uh, number 10 if you wanted to. Number three, three books there as part of um, that category there, but you can have a look down and see if there's any categories or niches that you would like to actually get into, and Publisher Rocket's perfect for that. So I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of Publisher Rocket and how to use more of those insights for niches and categories and keywords. Remember that you can get Dave Chesson's free keywords and categories course if you use my a link below in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the channel, give me some comments if you want to provide feedback about the video. And until next time, I'll see you later.